is the name itself uh, which I already told you, curvilinear. Any body which takes a curved path, it, if it is straight line motion, it is it's called rectilinear. And if it is just taking a curved path, I can say it is a curvilinear motion. So again, here is a set of uh, you know, graphs as based on this, equations will be there. So I have already told you, any chapter in mechanics, any topic, you will have set of formulas for that, standard formulas with which we have to you know, learn it or solve a problem. Now here, there are three types of uh, coordinate systems that are used for curvilinear motion, learning curvilinear motion. One is Cartesian coordinate, your x and y values and z values in mathematics, right? Then polar coordinate system, which means your theta and radius, r and theta, as well as normal, normal means perpendicular, normal means perpendicular, as well as tangential systems. Here n symbol denotes normal and t denotes tangent. Now, what actually you have to solve, know is, when for Cartesian coordinates, x axis and y axis, just take only two axes, z is not, not required here. Okay. Now, just consider a point P, this is a curve, okay? the topic is curvilinear only, this is a curve, in that curve you choose any point, meaning is a point, uh, a body's particular point is chosen, is point P, which has got coordinates of x and y. So, in the x direction, you need to know what is velocity and acceleration, velocity of x and velocity of acceleration, acceleration of x, y direction, velocity of at y direction, acceleration of y direction. And this distance is x value, that means from the origin point O to your fixed point P, the distance is x and this height is taken as y value. So, your point, so with this value you have to find out what is formula for acceleration at x, acceleration at y, velocity at x, velocity at y, this is what you have to find out, okay. Now next to polar coordinate system, again with the help of your theta, the angle moved by the body as well as radius, which means here this curve is selected, a particle is moving and the particle is here now, which is at the coordinates of r and theta, because polar coordinate system we have worried about only the radius and your angle. So at a baseline, from the baseline a curve is been drawn or the angle theta has been specified, so here this distance from 0 to that particular point is taken as your r, that is the radius of the body. With this you can complete this curve and at the same time here, at the, along the path, I mean the point, that is vertical, I mean velocity related to r, that is this direction and acceleration with respect to r and again theta, v theta and a theta for with respect to opposite direction, that is the slope perpendicular to the line of this point is your V theta and A theta. So, theta is angle and R is the radius, that is the polar coordinate system. For this you have formula for finding out A theta and your velocity is acceleration, acceleration with respect to theta and velocity with respect to theta as well as for your VR and AR with respect to the radius. Formula will be there, you have to solve. Again, Normal and tangential system. What is this again? This is a curve here. Normal means perpendicular to the particular point. This point here, N and T, point P, perpendicular 90 degree line, that is your velocity for normal and acceleration for normal. Here, tangential velocity, Vt and acceleration tangential. This set of formulas will be always given with based on that, let us solve a question. So, curvilinear motion is the second, you know, after the previous set of equations which I have told, it is called, it is for actually for rectilinear motion, it means a straight line motion, though it is an horizontal line or vertical line, it is a straight line motion. So, those formulas holds good for solving any question based on rectilinear motion or relation between velocity acceleration displacement, here it is based on curvilinear motion, here again you have set of formulas. Why I have written this sketch is, you should, every student has to learn these formulas by knowing what is the particular you know, this uh, parameter, R, R, A, R, A, V, R, N, whatever it is. If you know what, why it is we are writing, 
you will differentiate between a problem, a question asked with respect to rectilinear motion, that is the relationship between velocity acceleration displacement, as well as I mean question asked based on curvilinear motion. When you read a question, you should understand what and what topic it is. For this, you should understand and know these formulas. That is the purpose I wrote this. We will see one problem in this topic, so it will be better for you to understand. Under the curvilinear motion, so those uh, three graphs, which means uh, based on your Cartesian coordinate and then comes your uh, polar coordinate, then normal and tangent. So, as I told you, those three graphs, what is your x and y axis, I mean uh, values, that is uh, coordinates, if it is Cartesian coordinate, when you come for uh, polar coordinates, it is your theta and r, radius and angle. Then you come for tangent and normal, you should know what is that. Those formulas are very important to solve any question, right. So one simple problem is a particle moves along a curve, the particle is moving along a curve path and its position is defined by a value, r is equal to 2 theta, right. And theta is given as t square by 2, some value of t square by 2, where t is taken as time in seconds and r is in meters, that is radius in meters. To determine the velocity and acceleration of the particle at theta is equal to, you know, pi by 4, value of theta has been given. But basically, the solution is, what is r given? It is 2 theta and theta is given as t square by 2. First, we will have to differentiate this once or twice in order to get your Velocity and acceleration first. Now, you just take this theta. What about your differentiation? d theta by dt. What will you get here? 2 t by 2. Get a value of t here. Then, what else you want? d theta by dt is 2. So, again d square theta by dt square, which means, what is this actually? Velocity. Finding velocity for this. And acceleration, now is this, this once again differentiating twice. This mathematics is basic mathematics, dt square. That is your d by dt of d theta by dt. That is d by dt of again t. That is d by dt of t. Value t is again 1. So that is it. Then you go for r equal to 2 theta. What is this r is equal to 2 theta given? r is equal to 2 theta. What will you write for velocity again? dr by d theta. What is the value we get here? It is 2, is it not? Again, d square r by d theta square. That is d by d r theta of again r. Then it? dr by d theta. d by d theta of it is, it is this value is again this value constant it is again 0, is it not? Again, differentiating. So, like this, you have to find out differentiating these two values. Now, this value asks for find out theta is equal to pi by 4. You have to find a value. But theta is given as 2 square by 2. Now, how do you go about it? This is not mathematics, it is, but still, you have to differentiate to find velocity and acceleration. So, theta is given as t square by 2. So, to modify, t, I will write as 2 theta, is it not? It is t square. If you take t, you will get root of 2 theta. Again, theta value is what is given? Is theta value given? What is what is given? Theta is pi by 4. So, you can just write value of 2 into pi by 4. This you will find an answer. Some value you get in time in seconds. Say 1 or 1.3 seconds. No, you have to just calculate and check the correct answer, but still, say suppose 1.3 seconds is t value you got. Now, this t you have to take in terms of your equations, velocity equation and transverse equation. That is dr by d theta, all these formulas you have to use it, the table column. So, which will give you a further value, in the values of velocity and acceleration for that. So, this is how the steps are. So, it is very easy. But only thing is you have to know the formula 
what to use and differentiating once you will get velocity and twice you will get acceleration that is so any question given first basic thing is you will have to remember those formulas which is given in the table of column along with the graph so be easier and what is the formula given that set up is I just uh, I have not given written the formula in the board. Is that in the book? I just uh, indicated what is the Cartesian coordinate, polar coordinate, and your uh, uh, tangent and normal equations. So any form problem under that, with the formula having main you know clear idea about the formulas, you can solve the get the answers.